Let's play Redactual number 698 on Monday, March 4th. Difficulty level is low. It's a 12-letter word. And then we get 713. Oh, is that pronunciation, maybe? Is the 7, 8 of 9, 10, excuse me, in 8. Um, is the largest something in 8. What's in 8? It is located near the something... C and is the ooh maybe the largest city and something something as of okay it does have a population is it a city usually you would see is a city and perhaps see that it's a capital yeah. But what else could it be? Oh, it could be a province. Is the largest province of? Oh. Anyway, it has this population, single digit, whoops, million, making it eight's second most populous city. Oh no, fourth most, after six, eight, and four. Yeah, so it must be a city after all, but funny first sentence. Is there something of nine, ten? Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. A 12-letter city in an eight-letter country which also has six eight and four um yeah if it was seven ireland you'd say dublin limerick and cork but uh, it's not them uh 12 lies something next to the mouth of the nine river so many kilometers are miles and then we get something i think square miles a four or five something from it something at the again at the nine three near the nine three is it the something c seven serving as a base for five and eight fourteen within something the city is the home of the twelve four of twelve with a population of over so many million which something and something 12 was 7-Eleven as a city on, oh, okay, so it was maybe formally or something established as a city on this date. Although it dates from at least some four-digit year. It something into N94, serving as a something from this during immediate or something during and immediately following ah world war one and world war two from the something all right i'm hoping we'll see some words revealed accidentally with unusual accents that might tell us what language we're speaking here. The something eight six four. Oh, 
I think this maybe is giving it the nickname. Eight's Golden City. And then here's the language. 262328. In the, this could be in some decade, 12 was the uh, fourth largest city in something and one of the something something in the nine. Ooh, in the nine. Is that a, a continent or some region of the world? Like the Americas? All right, still hoping to see something. Etymology, maybe? Yeah, that's the nickname again, I think. Twelve is something is also known as two seven meaning the something so i'm thinking that's going to be french or spanish um l something or other uh, where's the history this might be the history Four of four. It's on the mouth of a river, which the river has to go into some body of water, might be a sea. Between some years, six sixes, four four. Ooh, this might be War of Independence. In the War of the, oh no, in the something of the Nine War of Independence. Ah, so this eight-letter country may have a nine-letter adjective. 12, 13 served as the something of the pro-independence armies. Funny, this country has very long cities, 12 letters, but also had one with four letters. Uh, still not seeing anything revealed that might actually help us. It was at this time that the something 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 twelve letter city. That's a long name. Megalopolis, Persepolis. And here we have the location. Longitude and latitude. Something like west of nine with nine to the five, two, two, three. I wonder what that is. What are all these pairs of words in italics? It is something... Huh. It is not all year round, maybe? Ooh, a lot of things in italics. Here, mm -hmm. 
let's see, a lot of percentages, this economics, ooh, by the something A, maybe something by the letter A? Um, not seeing anything jump out at me. Oh, we're not even halfway down through this article. I think I'll pause and scroll down a bit and I'll unpause if I see anything interesting. Oh, well, I actually only scroll down one little bit. And I saw the VR 2. So I think that's going to be Spanish. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking South America. Maybe. Oh, and then um, I think companies in Spanish, instead of having LTD limited, I think they have this SA, which I think is like Society Anonymous, Anonymous Society. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Um... So... I'm wondering if it could be in Peru. Uh, just because Peru has a four-letter city, I know. But I, I'm not sure. And then Cusco, of course. Um, keep going here. I'm going to pause again. All right, I'm getting down to the end. There was this um, seven six. I wonder if that could be like tourist attractions or something like that. And then six six. Not sure what that is. But then, could this be in uh, popular culture? 12 is um, not referenced, but in the 4, 4, 10 of the 5, 4, 4, I've been 10. Yeah, I wonder if th is this a... Um... Oh, this might be a film adaptation so a some year film adaptation of the the novel i've been 10 i don't that doesn't ring a bell i've been something which was something by more than so many million Viewers, okay, seven, eight, something in the three, four, four, three apostrophe. I don't think that's a possessive apostrophe S because that shouldn't be redacted. Um, yeah, with the with the name maybe 212 so this must be in another language translated as in 12 i wonder if it could be they dance like this it is oh so somewhere maybe that's known for its dancing In 
some reason Colombia comes to mind, which has eight letters and Colombian has nine. There probably was a Colombian War of Independence from Spain, I presume. Um, but what's a 12 letter? And let's see, 1265 from 10. Don't know what that is. And then I don't know that. And then we're down at the bottom. All right, I'm going to try uh, Columbia. Mentioned once. Oh, hold on, is it uh, Columbia? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's embarrassing. Um, wrong Columbia. Ah, but that's funny, that did show up once. The British Columbia, I don't know. All right, so it is the something something, and it's Colombia's fourth most populous city after uh, Bogota. Eight and four. Oh. I'm thinking there's something beginning with M, but then it might also begin with C, Carta, Cartagena, and that's something. Of course, unfortunately, a lot of these we just think of the uh, drug cartels. No, oh, they're not mentioned. Oh, interesting. That's good. Ah. Uh, Ooh, there's also one beginning with B, but I did work with a guy who used to travel to a specific town in Colombia with his wife. Um, oh my goodness, Malaguena, <laughs> Man oh, Man Manquilla, Man Mantadilla, <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> I have a nasty feeling I'm not going to get this. Let's see if we can find a section about the name. Twelve's name. Oh, so this maybe is the etymology to the something that's seven in the something, something, something during the seven twelve of the something, the name eight. This name was derived from and something of something. Is it from Spanish or is it from an Amerindian? During Spanish blank. Oops, and something. I'm going to pause because the uh, rubbish collection is coming. All right, while I was waiting for the bin men to go by, uh, a name came back to me. Uh, I can't remember it is where my work friend used to go, but Baran Kia. And when I first thought of it in my mind, I was thinking, oh, no, that's too short. But of course, it is 12 letters. Oh my goodness. So that is a little fortunate. Um, there have been 159 games played. The median is 30. Looks like, what's that, about 14 people got it very quickly. But I think 11 is okay. If that had not come to me, I might have been here a while. All right, Span it is, was pronunciation, Spanish pronunciation. Ah, the capital district of Atlantico Department. Oh, it was the sea, the Caribbean Sea. Largest city. Oh, and third port in the Caribbean coast region. Fourth most populous. Ah, Medellin. I knew there was a name I was trying to think of. And Cali, of course. 
strategically next to the delta of the Magdalena River. Uh, blah, 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 1813, at least 1629. Okay, and it's Columbia's Golden Gate. I did not know that. Etymology uh, refers to the canyons. Barranca. Alteration of Aragon. Hmm. All right, well, I was uh, lucky that I have heard of this city and that it did come back to me. And I'm lucky that the uh, bin men came along uh, too. That made me pause and reflect, which is always good to do. Anyway, I hope you're able to solve that as easily. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.